in Italy, it's just a festival of life in the streets, and we need to connect with that. Another great thing about Italy, of course, is eating. You don't need to be a sophisticated, you don't need to be rich, you just gotta find antipasta. This lady here, she wants to cook for you. Casalinga is the local word for home cooking. Restaurants serve home cooking, and we can find that. Every part of Italy has its own regional specialties. Italians are not into fancy sauces. They're into quality ingredients served at the right time of year, very fresh, by people who understand the terroir of that corner of Italy. For instance, in Chianti country, you have Chianina beef, named for Chianti country, and there's only one way to order your beef. They don't ask you if you want it raw or medium or whatever. You get it cooked seven minutes on one side, seven minutes on the other side, and on your plate. It's just the right way to do it, and when you find yourself in a good steakhouse in Tuscany, you know you're going to have a good meal. The Italians love their fine wines. I really am into ordering, not a big bottle of something, but if I'm on a budget, I'll just buy the most expensive glass of wine. Just a $15 glass of wine with the right ingredients, and it's a beautiful, they call it a marriage, a beautiful marriage between the cheese, the meat, the bread, and the wine. Gelato, a wonderful, easy to pack souvenir. <laughs> Remember in Italy you've got that Italian enthusiasm, intensity, chaos, all right? A lot of people get to Italy and then they just find temper tantrums, stray hairs, body odor, traffic jams, people ripping them off, and they just get overwhelmed and they don't like it. And I just say you should go to Denmark, all right? I mean, Denmark, you got none of that. But if you really embrace Italy with the right attitude, you'll find that organized chaos is a beautiful thing. People have temper tantrums, people will try to rip you off, all sorts of chaos, all sorts of ridiculous bureaucracy. Somehow life works in Italy. It exasperates me and I'm in love with it. I can't quite figure it out. But with the right attitude, Italy can be your favorite country.